Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Blue Monday, how I hear Blue Monday, got to work, plank of sleeve on me, he'll come Tuesday. I don't stipulate that these videos are real, and the fact is... Uh, in fact, is uh, that um, the research uh, that that is being criticized there is research that has been supported. Now, I haven't seen, I've seen some news reports of it, but I also know uh, that some of it is not real and you can create any reality that you want. And I think they should be investigated as to how they obtained the, obtain those and doctored those and then had them be accepted as something that was an indictment All right, so Nancy Pelosi has gone full true. fascist. She's gone full fascist now, and of course, that's not the lead story. This is the Savage Nation. The lead story is me and my views of the world. Welcome to the program. But there she is, a crazy woman. I mean, what do you do when you have a crazy person in Congress? Here's a woman who says, I didn't see the videos uh, of Planned Parenthood selling baby body parts, but I know they're fake and they should be investigated by the state attorney general. If that's not full-blown fascism i'd like to know what is but let's sweep aside that lunatic the cuckoo clock says it all the bigger lunatic is in the white house teddy roosevelt great former president is famous for his saying talk softly and carry a big stick president obama is going to be remembered for this statement talk loudly but carry a broken stick he broke the stick himself the military has been broken by this psychopath. And what does he do today? He shoots off his big mouth full of hot air against Putin. Saber rattling he doesn't even do anymore because he broke the saber. So he's in a quandary. The big issue today is Syria. You know the refugee crisis in Europe didn't come out of a vacuum. It's a result of many different factors. But something happened over the weekend. I seem to be the only one who knows about it. And I was jumping up and down since I saw it on the Debka site on Saturday night. I've been trying to tell people about it. It's not appeared in any newspaper. It's not on any website except my own. Chinese aircraft carrier joins Russia-Iran military buildup is my headline. This is an astronomical, astronomically large event. As Obama was welcoming the Chinese president, President Zero, from China, and kowtowing to him. And they were making fake deals in the sky about global warming and about human rights. All crap. You know the Chinese president just laughing at him behind his back. It's all nonsense. At the same time, China sailed an, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier into Syria. They've linked up with Russia and Iran. They're setting up a joint command headquarters in Syria to take down... ISIS, because Obama has refused to take down ISIS. Now, you have to ask yourself, how could this be going on with nobody in the press of any magnitude even noticing it, let alone speaking about it? I mean, you look at idiots like Jake Woodpecker, a man who has the brains of a deranged woodpecker, ran the debates. You'd think one of these idiots would have commented on the fact that Obama is such an empty shell, such a paper president, that all he can do is bellow about Putin, while the Russians have moved in special forces. The Iranians have moved in the Republican Guard. The Chinese have sent in special forces into Syria. They don't give a damn what Obama says. They swept him aside like the non-entity that he is. They know he's a non-entity and a loudmouth at that. So what is Russia and China doing in Syria? You know, you say, you understand Russia. Russia has long been a supporter of the Stalinist state of Syria. Syria is a vassal state of Russia. But unlike Obama, Putin does not abandon his allies. Putin will not abandon Assad. No matter what this charlatan says, Assad's going to stay. As bad as he is, he's not as bad as ISIS would be running Syria. Witness what ISIS has been doing. 
So nevertheless, you've got China there, you've got Russia there, you've got Iran there. Ground troops, ground troops, ground troops. The aircraft carrier has arrived. Did you hear? It's, ma it's a magnitude of order beyond anything you've seen in the news. The Chinese brought in a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. And guess who is bringing in the fighter jets that go on that aircraft carrier? Russia is flying them in on their giant Aleutian transports to sit on that carrier. And they're going to be used in airstrikes, unlike our airplanes, which are sitting idly on bases all over aircraft carriers in the Middle East and on bases nearby in the Middle East. And the charlatan in the White House who says he's doing a great job reversing ISIS is doing nothing. And I'll tell you why, at least what I think. He's done nothing to stop ISIS, which is why they've grown like a cancer. They could have been wiped out in a week or less than a week. If the full force of our military had been put on these animals before they got going, they wouldn't be where they are today, raping, murdering, looting, kidnapping, destroying archaeological sites, killing people at random, raping girls as young as eight, kidnapping women and turning them into sex slaves. Not one word from your president about all of this. So Russia, as you know, is in Syria because Syria is uh, in, their, in their sphere of influence and Assad is their ally, and they're not going to let him fall, and they have a very important naval base on the Syrian coast that they're certainly not going to let collapse. Well, what is China doing there? What in the world is China? Do you know that China has not engaged in a military exercise of this, of this magnitude since the Vietnam War? Am I the only one in the media who understands all of this? Michael Savage, me. Michael Savage, me. I, Michael Savage. I'm telling you something you may not know. This is the first time China has engaged in a military exercise of this magnitude since the Vietnam War. So why is China there, along with Russia and Iran, no less? Why? And why am I the only one talking about it? While you're talking about Trump versus Carson, Carson versus J Jimmy, Jimmy versus Carson, all wonderful, but the election's over a year from now. I'm sick of it. Big things are happening. You got the blood moon last night. You got the communist pope was here the other day. Till he finally left and went back, thank God. They ought to, let me stop right there. It's a family. I'm so outraged at how he got away with it. Goodbye, church. Goodbye, church. What's left of the church after this pope? I don't know. I just don't know what can be left of the church after this, after this pope came here. So we got the pope. Then you got the blood moon. Now you have this occurring in the Middle East. Now you got the UN meeting today with speeches by all of these big shots, big important men. And I listened to some of the speeches. I listened especially to the translation of the Putin speech. And I was very impressed with what he said, and we'll play some of that later. And we're going to talk about Obama again in a minute. But I want to go back to the Chinese aircraft carrier joining the Russia-Iran military buildup in Syria. If you think it's dry stuff, I apologize in advance. But it's not dry stuff. I don't think it's the prelude to World War III, by the way. I believe... It's the end of the worst scourge on the planet since Adolf Hitler, which is ISIS. I believe that because this incompetent, impotent president, who is tough as nails when it comes to the American people who he craps on, and the Republican Party, which no longer exists because of the sellout Boehner, this man is a complete and total useless idiot when it comes to the real power, power uh, players on this planet. A nightmare to see what we become as a nation. A Chinese aircraft carrier docks at Tartus to support Russian-Iranian military buildup. It came out September 26th on the Depka file. I put it on michaelsavage.com. Listen to the writing. As U.S. President Barack Obama welcomed Chinese President Xi Jinping to the White House on Friday, September 25th, and spoke of the friendship between the two countries, the Chinese aircraft carrier Liang CV-16 docked at the Syrian port of Tartus, accompanied by a guided missile cruiser. This is revealed exclusively by Debka file. Now, why are they there? Beijing is not finding it hard to dance at two weddings, wooing the U.S. for better relations, while at the same time backing Russia in its military intervention in Syria. Coupled with the warm smiles and handshakes, exchanged at a lavish reception on the White House lawn, Beijing was clearly bent on showing muscle, not just in the South China Sea, but by allying itself with the Russian-Iranian political and military buildup in support of Syrian President Bashar Assad and his regime. This is astonishing. It's just astonishing. It says the arrival of this aircraft carrier has upended the entire strategic situation surrounding the Syrian conflict, adding a new global dimension to Moscow and Tehran's military support for Assad. Now, I want you to take a deep breath. 
Here is Obama who just gave away the store to Tehran, right? Now we wake up to find that the Tehran is joining America's allegedly worst enemy, Russia, who they vilified for a year now. The entire crazed government of ours has been vilifying Putin as though he's the worst thing on the planet, saying nothing negative about the Muslim invasion of, of, of the Middle East, the Muslim takeover of Europe, nothing. Instead, they attack Putin, our potentially our greatest ally in the war of wars, the war that will end all wars. Either we win this war or we annihilate, Western civilization is annihilated. So what in the world is Russia and China doing there? Russia, as I said, do you know what they're doing there? But why would China put there? Why would, the, why would they put an aircraft carrier into Syria? The warplanes and helicopters should be in place on its decks by mid-November, flying in directly from China via Iran. You hear this? China is flying in its aircraft through Iran or transported by giant Russian transports from China through Iranian Iraqi airspace. This is all going on while the doofus in the White House is talking about global warming and, and about how why abortions are necessary for the United States of America to survive. And of course, don't forget how we must have gay and military, uh, uh, gay, gay and military, military to be a great military. It must be all gay and military, run by gays and, and lesbians in order for it to be a great military. Great military. It's sickening. Chinese will be sending out the Syria squadron of J-15 flying shark fighters. Some for takeoff positions on the carrier's decks. The rest to be stationed at the Russian air base near Latakia. The Chinese will also deploy Z-18F anti-submarine helicopters. Did you hear that? Now, what would they be deploying anti-submarine helicopters for? What submarines do you think they're going to be looking at? Obama's underwater Navy. And Z-18J airborne early warning helicopters. In addition, Beijing, China will consign at least 1,000 Chinese Marines to fight alongside their counterparts from Russia and Iran against terrorist groups. Listen to this including ISIS. Now, that's a very pregnant phrase, including ISIS. Do you know what other terrorist groups are going to be taken out? All of our so-called allies who have been fighting Assad will be killed. And they don't take any prisoners, by the way. The Russians and Chinese are not bringing them back for a lengthy trial in Beijing or Moscow. They're going to kill them on the field. You'll never hear about it. So what is China doing there? And why is China there? Well, I'm going to give you the answers to these questions. This is the most important geopolitical event I've seen in my entire lifetime. I never thought I'd wake up to the day that China, Russia, and Iran would be a new, a new alliance. And it's all because of the, the uh, sorority that has so mismanaged America and the world. Now you say, well, how come I don't know about this? Why haven't I heard about this on the radio? Why haven't I heard about it or seen it on television? I haven't seen it. I haven't heard it. Have you, Jim? Have you seen any of this on Fox News? Have you heard about it on any of the great talk shows on American uh, channels? I haven't heard about it. I haven't seen about it. So how did I, Michael Savage, stumble upon it? Well, it doesn't matter. This is what's happening. And it's happening because of the incompetence of your president. Now, coupled with this is a related story. A German journalist, 75 years old, just came back from spending months embedded with ISIS. He said he wrote his will, he thought they would kill him, and he came back to tell the world a story. And here's the story, all of you left-wing girls that were so concerned about the wrong things in your life. Here is the story from the German journalist. He said ISIS is far more powerful than anyone can imagine. They're getting 450 to 500 recruits every day from somewhere in the world. They've occupied an area larger than Great Britain, and here's the punchline, girls, as you're worried about false situations such as global warming. Girls, pay attention. If they gain world power, they want to kill two to three hundred million people. That's what the journalist said. So all I can say is go Russia, go China, and yes, go Iran, and wipe these vermin off the planet for the sake of humanity. And that's the opening to today's show on the Savage Nation. Be, be here Join or be nowhere. The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. You know, I I've given you information in the first 10 minutes of the show that I think is more valid than anything I've heard.